Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we are playing some Undertale. That stupid cursor. Uh, what's it say? The four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Ha! Ha ha! 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 I put them on my head! Why did I put them on my head? made a bridge. Uh-oh. Hi. Aaron flexes in. Uh, flex back? Flex Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increase for you two. Great. Ow. Everybody ready for your next flex. Shoot. I'm gonna go away. You'll change your mind. Ugh. Okay. Ready for your next flex? Flex harder! And flex is twice as hard! I won't lose, though. Okay. Your next flex. Flex harder! Flexes himself out of the room! Ha! <laughs> made the bell blossom can cause for seeds to go back where they started. Um. Um. They all need to be in a row. One there. Um. No, that's not right. No, that's not right. Um. Let's see here. Okay, let's think about this logically. I can only make it go all the way across. Okay, I think I've got it. I'll go up. Got to think about it logically, because they have to be in a row for them to sprout. And if they're not in a row, they won't sprout. And also, I'm still putting them on my head, which is still weird. Yay! Is there anything up here? No. Uh. How the fuck did you get my number, Papyrus? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Do you know how many numbers that is? Yeah, no, 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 no. So, what are you wearing? What? Wearing a bandana. No. So you aren't wearing a bandana. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Okay. Can I call him now? Damn it! <laughs> Don't I have caller ID or something? Wishing room. Come on, sis, make a wish. Where am I finding the flower? Wooshua washes up. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. What is this off? Get wrecked. Uh, clean! Be sure to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean! Uh oh. That could have gone better! Okay, guys, I'm back and I'm alive. For now. Look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. What wall? What wall? A 
as well? Oh! Okay. An ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. So they want to kill me? If the monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. It's probably a human-monster hybrid. Do, do. Music went away. The music went away! This is bad. I'm gonna find Undine. Yup! <laughs> Called it! Suffer! Oh fuck! That don't hurt me. That don't hurt me. That don't hurt me. I can't call my... Oh dear. Oh dear. Please don't kill me, Undyne! Oh. to get difficult. Can't give up just yet, Scarlet. Stay determined! Or if I don't wanna. What if I really don't want- Oh good, it brought me here. It probably knew that that entire section was made of ass. Do 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 do. Hi, Undyne! Hi. Run. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Ah! 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 Oh, what a duck. I can get out of here. I can do this. I got this. Fuck am I? I can't move! You don't see shit, Undyne! Hi. Uh-huh. Little boy? Is he okay? Is the little thingy okay? I can't move. Are you okay, boy? Are you okay? Yo, do you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never watching my face ever again. Man, you are unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. I don't think I want to see Undyne again. Seeing Undyne again is distinctly a bad thing. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it! Mouse. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from this crystal fills you with determination! <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Hi, Sans! I almost got wrecked by Undyne. I'm thinking about getting in the telescope business. It's normally 500... 50,000 gil. I'm, I'm gonna call it gil. To use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Is that, sure. Everything's red. Sands? Sands, everything's red. I've got pink eye! <laughs> Come on! 
God damn it, Sans! Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. God damn it, Sans! God damn it, Sans. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors! <laughs> but there are still no customers. Oh, poor guy. Unfortunately, I've thought of a solution. Or fortunately, punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. That's a lot. Now just 25 gil! Sure. Shut up, phone. I always forget to turn my phone off. The box contains one card. Card? Yes. I got a punch card. Yay, punch card. Now let's put the punch card away because I really don't need it right now. Hello. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No over here. Well, this is kind of gorgeous. Hello. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Is this a maze? Ring, ring, ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery. Ugh. Well, very not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a bandana. So of course I actually told her. You were indeed wearing a bandana. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. <laughs> damn it, Papyrus. God damn it, Papyrus. Oh, it's a Mold Small! Or a Mold Small! Hi, Mold Small! I'm just gonna... yeah. <laughs> just... yeah. Haven't seen those in a while with their sexy wiggles. Sexy wiggles. <laughs> Hi. You're a passing conversation. Don't say that! Come on! I promise I won't laugh. That person probably laughed, didn't they? <laughs> oh, it's an Aaron. I'm gonna flex at you. Flex at you! Okay. Hmm. Uh. Uh. More flexing! You flex harder and flex is twice as hard. Nice. I won't lose though, smiley face. Uh. 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 Ow! I got hit. <laughs> More flexing! You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> Cause that's how that works, right? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Aha. So we attack them. Hi. 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 I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Aww, you're adorable! Hey there, I noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sun. Onion Sun, year. Hi. Can't really interact with these, so I'm gonna keep going. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Okay. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I, I have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey! That's okay. It beats moving to the city, and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Oh, I'll be your friend. And the aquarium's full a anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live on the ocean, you hear? Yeah. Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Okay. 
The fuck are you? He's in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway! Smile. See, Shriarin smile too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Wait, what? Aaron's here? Hmm. The fuck? Okay. He's smiling, but nothing happened. Okay, um, hum. It follows your melody. Yay! See, 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 see. Uh oh. Ah! Go away! The northern room hides a great treasure. Then I want to go that way. Song echoes in the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Uh, yes. Okay. There's a piano here. Oh, does that have something to do with uh, what she said? Uh, what was it? Yes. Do. So, I have no idea we're leaving. Wait a minute, why is that different than all the other ones? Like, right here. That block is different than all the other ones. <laughs> I don't know. You guys might not be able to see it because of color differences on YouTube, but... His power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but it has never happened. Then how do you know that it could? Hi. It's a statue. The structure of its feet seems dry. Okay. Bye! Please take one. Is it an umbrella? Yes. Maybe I can give an umbrella to- IT'S SITTING ON MY HEAD! The umbrella on the statue? Yes. Place the umbrella on the statue. Inside the statue, the music box begins playing. Okay. Cool. I take another umbrella. Hee! Is this oil? Am I walking through oil? Yo, you got an umbrella! Awesome! Let's go! You might want to keep up if you want to stand under the umbrella, dude. Okay. I guess that works for him. I mean, he's not completely under the umbrella, but... Man, Undyne is so cool! She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would let the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm a human. Dunk. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She would beat up all the teachers. Um, that's not a good thing. Teachers are nice. Don't beat up your teachers. 
Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. About that. <laughs> she has tried to kill me and has succeeded at least once. Sorry. Laser cold. I've got a brella. It's a brella. Brella, brella. Hi. Are you gonna say anything? No. Okay. Is that- is this kid just stalking me now? Yeah, this kid's just stalking me now. Turn the umbrella, put it back. You're turning the umbrella. Yo! This ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you wanna see Undine, right? Climb on my shoulders! Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Aww! And he keeps tripping. Save point. Oh dear, I needed that. Okay, we're about at the end of this video, guys. My name is Riska Tenager, and I have been playing some Undertale. I'll see you all in the next video.